Hi, my name is Caroline King and I am your City Council candidate for this year's Kamloops City Election. My vision for Kamloops is a livable, affordable and inclusive city. So Kamloops has a really great school. A lot of students come here to train here. They, um, we're missing a few things that will actually retain them after graduation though. I think we're missing a bit of a nightlife, which young people like. We, um, we don't have a performing arts center, which would help to bring in venues that would give um, a younger population a better um, entertainment venue. We're also kind of lacking on some affordable housing. We've made some good inroads with that, but I'd like to see us continue moving forward, you know, sort of densifying our downtown cores, our North Shore cores, where young people tend to like to live in the downtown corridors where the action is, where the entertainment is, and so we need to do some things like that to attract them after graduation. That's interesting. I think we're doing some good things with our, our um, transportation. We've got some really good bike paths now. We've made some good changes to our transit system, but I think our roads are in really poor shape. We've, we've got some pretty bad pothole issues in different neighborhoods. We've got some neighborhoods where we have not even an accessible shoulder for young people to ride a bike, to have a walk. So I think before we look at expanding any more into the transportation system, we need to look at the, the um, infrastructure that's available now and uh, it could use some work. Yeah, rental housing in Kamloops has always been a hot commodity. I've been a landlord and a rental owner, and uh, so I know how great it is when there's less rentals available in the market. It tends to drive the price up and brings in sometimes a better client and definitely a better price. That being said, I think we can reduce some of that, um, the, the lack of availability by reducing some of the bylaws around shared, or not shared housing, but um, in-law suites with new builds, or perhaps we could find ways to license existing um, illegal suites and bring them into the marketplace. I think that would be a really good thing to reduce that strain on the system. I think the biggest challenge is going to be population growth and densification and, and how do we manage that moving forward. Uh, again, I think it's going to come down to some strategic densification into those city cores. There's definitely one, more than one city core in Kamloops. And um, other than that, I think we're going to have to keep a focus on bringing available non-agricultural land out of the ALR so that we can continue to build. We've sort of pushed the boundaries in different neighborhoods all the way to the boundary in every neighborhood, I think. And um, yeah, so we're going to have to really be, be um, inventive how we do that. Professional achievements. Could you call children your professional achievement? Probably not, hey? <laughs> uh, so um, my professional achievement I think would be my, I've been about two decades working with nonprofits and I'm pretty proud of the work that I've done. Um, most recently I did a, a um, needle buyback trial which took over 10,000 used sharps off the streets of Kamloops, out of the parks and playgrounds and I'm pretty proud with the conversations I had with political leaders, different cities and um, the inroads I made with regard regards to that and um, the conversations we're still having as a result of that and so yeah I'm pretty proud of that.